Hey guys, my name is Sammy. I'm going to flow through a workout today that I'd love for you to join me on. It is a beginner workout, but it's a little more towards the advanced beginner. So if you have never done Pilates before, or if you have any injuries, I highly suggest you go do my basics video every single day and the beginner video a couple times a week. And even if it gets boring, just repeat it because you don't get better at things unless you repeat them. And you want to build the strength so that you don't jump into something and get hurt. I can't tell you how sick I am of hearing I got hurt in Pilates. So please listen to your body. When in doubt, please leave it out. And I have a roll here. I will post the link to it. I'm going to show you how you, this could possibly be beneficial to you. If you're somebody that has a posterior pelvic tilt and you've kind of lost your bum and you stand more this way or like a sway back this way, this could be beneficial to you. I will also link the half roll because sometimes this is too big. But putting this under your lower back, if you're somebody that can't get your tailbone heavy and keep it heavy, this is going to be great because it's going to kind of force you to feel that tailbone down since you have to sit on the other side of it but also it gives you feedback so you can gently pull your stomach into it. I use it because it's beneficial to me. I don't use it on every exercise though. So you'll see kind of how I incorporate it and you can try the same so long as nothing hurts you in a bad way. Anyways, let's go. Go ahead and lie onto your back. Hands by your sides, feet can be bent. Take a big deep breath in, exhale. Then walk your feet farther away from you and lift your toes up and then pull the heels and glutes together. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders and come back. Keep trying to activate the backs of your legs by pulling the heel and the glutes together. And then really get that tailbone down. It's okay if you have space under your lower back. Then straighten your legs and reach your arms up and back behind you. Draw those knees up a little bit and lift right into your 100 position. Arms, legs, and head go at the same time. You're inhaling for five pumps. You're exhaling for five pumps. Do it on your own time. Notice the little space under my lower back. That's okay. I'm honoring that curve in my spine and keeping my tailbone nice and long. If you start to feel this in your lower back, you can place your hands under your sacrum and just breathe. You're also welcome to bring your legs up to more of a diagonal or into tabletop if that's better for you. Go ahead and just keep pumping and inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose, five pumps each, ideally until you get to 100. When you're done, pause, curl up, lower it down. Here I'm gonna grab a roll and I'm gonna put it under my lower back to help me keep my tailbone down. So I'm sitting to the other side of it, reaching my legs out for the roll up. If you have a hard time keeping that tailbone down, this is very helpful. Inhale, lift your head, exhale, roll up and then come back. It's okay if it kind of slides up and down. You can always adjust. You'll see me do that in just a second. And then just keep going all the way back down. Do it again. If you'll see, it helps keep my pelvis nice and still and I roll up in the ribs. That's where the rounding kind of comes from. I had to, had to adjust and make sure I was lifting up and over. Keep going. And if you're not using a roll, then just keep moving. Keep pulling the heels and the glutes together. I have them bent here to help me stabilize my pelvis. If they're straight, sometimes you can't get your pelvis in the right position. Your goal is to do these exercises to the best of your ability. So whatever that, whatever you have to do to get to that. Okay, one leg circles. Go ahead and bend one knee in. Let's take a stretch first. Bend that knee in and lift the ankle. So yeah, I'm rolling out my ankle, getting nice cracks out. And you're leaving the knee there and you're just stretching the ankle up. Doesn't matter if it goes straight or not, you're just leaving the knee where it is. Now hold it up, point that foot, flex the standing foot and cross circle around and up. Now you really wanna stay connected in your abdominals. As that leg comes up, you're creating space in that lower stomach. So we're always trying to create space in Pilates. Nothing's ever compressed. So you're pulling in and up to create that space. 
and that left leg is not moving. It's like you're standing. You can always lift that other knee and pull the heel and glute together. Reach up, curl up, and just reach for your toe. Lift and lower. Don't think of a sit-up. Think of lengthening up and down and stabilizing your pelvis. You can do that again, or you can lift the bottom leg and make it a little more challenging. Lengthen. Here, I'm moving that bottom leg up, but if you cannot do that, don't do that. Lower it all the way down, switch your legs. Grab underneath your knee again and lift the ankle. So you're pulling that knee in towards you and then lifting the ankle from there. You can always bend that bottom leg, that straight leg, put the foot down, whatever you need to do again to do this to the best of your ability. So go ahead and stretch, 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 stretch. Now reach it straight up, point the toe and let's circle, cross, circle around and up. You are really trying to stabilize that pelvis. If that left hip with the left leg circling lifts a little bit, that's fine. So long as your abdominals are pulling into your back in opposition. So you want to stay connected each time. It's five in each direction. Exhale, inhale up. Keep moving. Don't overthink it. Just try and keep everything engaged and connected. Reach your arms up. You can lift that bottom leg if you'd like. And you're going to lift up and lift. And the reason for the lift in the bottom leg is to activate the back of your leg. So pulling that heel and glute together. Maybe you lift that bottom leg up. You don't have to. Good. And then lower it down. Connect those feet. Straighten those legs if you'd like and do a roll up. Beautiful. Let's roll like a ball, but with a different variation. So plant your feet in the mat, chin to your chest, and actually push off your feet to roll back and up. And what I want you to do is really keep that tailbone the same. So you're trying to keep your hip bones up to the ceiling as much as you can. Push off those feet, roll, and try when you come up not to let your tailbone shift. Variation number two, only if the other one wasn't so challenging. If your spine rolls like a roly-poly, give this a go. You're just pushing your elbows into your thighs and your thighs into your elbows evenly and trying to keep them from coming apart. It's super fun. Okay, lie onto your back. Single leg stretch. Bend your knees into your chest. Take both hands to one leg and lift your head. Outside hand can go to the ankle if you'll fancy. Now make sure you're pulling one leg in and reaching the other one long in opposition. Notice how I'm really fighting to keep my tailbone down. Pull an in, reach. You should feel be feeling a stretch every single time on each hip. Now breathe naturally. Inhale and exhale through the nose. Keep moving. Don't give up on me here. You can always rest your head. rest, rock a little from side to side, and come on up. You can make your transitions and exercise. We love that. Always working. Grab your toes and go ahead and pull your elbows up high and pull your chest forward and then point your toes and round and now pull your chest forward again. Flatten out that spine as much as you can and then pull your chest up your legs to flatten out and stretch. Sit all the way up. Let's continue. Saw. Open your legs, the width of your mat. Flex your feet and sit up tall. Anchor your pelvis down. Chin to your chest. Reach forward. 
The rounding will happen naturally. If you need to, you keep it smaller. I'm gonna show you here. Pull up and over, like there's a bunch of really tall pencils on your thighs and you don't want them to poke you. Anchor the pelvis down and then grow tall out of your waist. And look how good you look. Now inhale up, exhale over. Try not to slouch. We talk about this in other videos. Scoop through the belly, anchor your pelvis and lift tall. Let's not shrink as we age. Open leg rocker, grab your ankles, drag your heels in, lift your legs up. For a more advanced way of getting into this, you're just finished, you're gonna lean back, pull the pelvis under you and kick your legs up and grab them. Keep your chest wide and then chin to the chest, roll back and up. You wanna try to keep your hip bones facing the ceiling as much as possible. You can kick your legs into your hands if you're struggling to get up and then try to balance with those hip bones facing the ceiling. It's okay if you fall right back again, just keep trying to rock and roll. Now close the legs together for a challenge. Grab those toes, chin to the chest, roll back and up. This is really hard for me. For those of you that have longer legs than you do torso, the weight of your legs will help get you up and you might have an easier time with this. For me, I have a very long back and trying to get, have my short legs get my long back up is, it's a challenge. Now hold, reach forward like a teaser and roll your upper body down. Bend your knees into your chest. Reach your legs straight up and cup your feet if you're feeling extra. Now pull your tailbone towards your heels to lift your butt up and then circle both legs around to the right, to the left and back center and then lift. Now, if you just pull your legs in and your butt does not lift, that is fine. You're still using the proper muscles to build the lifting up. Now, if you would like to go up a little more and take it overhead, you're gonna keep leading that tailbone, chasing your heels, and then your abdominals are lifting you up and you start circling around to each side. Take your time, you can pause this video and go nice and slow, watch it again. The details are very important. There's no momentum at all there's no point in getting up if you're just gonna fling your body with a chance of getting injured roll down in the center and either do a roll up or rock up keeping everything working just as hard as you did in the very beginning lift up and over open your legs for saw Anchor your pelvis down and bring your hands onto your shoulders. Twist and reach. Sit up tall and other side. Twist, same elbow to knee. So when you twist to the left, your right elbow goes to your right knee. When you twist to the right, your left elbow goes to your left knee. I started off a little fast there, my apologies. Now keep drawing that stomach in. When you sit up, do the best you can like you're sitting against a wall. Lift up twisted before you untwist. Go ahead and flip over to your stomach. Make a pillow with your hands and rest your forehead and flex your feet and stretch your toes for this one. Keep your knees and thighs down. So you have a small bend, inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Really press those hips down as you lift the upper body. Don't lift your butt like I'm showing you here or sink your lower back like I'm showing you here. Keep that belly button pulled in, hips down, thighs down, energy pushing out your heels. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Don't forget about your hamstrings. Pull your glutes and heels together to activate back there. Now go ahead and reach your arms out to the side, put your chin down, lift your arms up towards each other and back down. Go ahead and lift your elbows towards the ceiling and you're bringing those shoulder blades towards each other to lift the arms. This is great for people with kyphosis. If you wanna move on, you lower the arms, you lift, and then you lift your upper body. Again, how long can you go before you lift? Nothing is changing in the lower body, so keep that nice and engaged. Lift, 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 and lower you like a bird. Now go ahead and push back onto your knees and take an active rest. Pull your stomach off your thighs and reach your chest longer towards your chin. And breathe. And come back onto your stomach. 
Bring your fists towards each other, elbows out wide like you're hugging a beach ball. Keep your eye gaze forward, not up too much so that your neck's in line. Single leg kick, 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 and back out. Kick, kick, and back out. Keep your toes down and push back through your heel. Activate your hamstring to kick, kick, and press the hips down, pull the stomach in, connect the shoulders to the back, engage your arms. Every body part should be working in every single exercise eventually. Double leg kick, clasp your hands behind your back, chin down, toes down. Kick three, two, one, Put your toes down, reach your arms back, and lengthen forward to lift up with your chest. Lower down. Hands go up, high onto the back. Again, kick, kick, kick. And lengthen the arms and reach. Reach those arms up and back behind you. I'm keeping the feet down today to really work on using the feet to press down to lengthen away and up. And again, if you notice, my legs are not straight. I'm keeping the knee down and the thigh down so that I feel more strength in my pelvis and more engagement through the lower part of my body. Push back, find a rest pose again, pull your chest towards your chin and pull the stomach off your thighs. Moving on, flip over to your back. Shoulder bridge. Get your heels as close to your butt as your knees will allow you to. And then go ahead and start lifting your hips up. Lift your chest a little bit. If it's sinking, you don't want to be arching your back. Pull the ribs in and take it back down without sinking the chest, ideally. So your knees are going forward or towards your toes to open up the front of the hip and your chest is pulling towards your chin in opposition. If you're feeling your back in a negative way, pull your stomach in a little deeper. Let's go again. Lead with your sits bones. Don't tuck your tail between your legs. Knees go forward, chest pulls away. There's always an oppositional stretch. And go back down. Let's do it again. Take it up with control. You wanna be feeling your glutes and hamstrings. Pull your glutes and heels towards each other and take it back down. Excellent. Now let's open hip distance parallel. Go back up the same way. Of course, if that was challenging enough, just keep doing those. We're gonna go on here. You're gonna lift your right knee into tabletop and straighten the leg up. You point to kick towards your face. You flex to reach out to be in line with the other knee. Make sure your hips are even. Point, kick, flex, reach. As you reach, keep lifting your hips up so that they don't drop. Now I'm going two inches off the mat for more of a challenge. You're welcome to join me. Take your time. You don't have to rush. Lift it up. Now lower the hips and lift back up. Like you're putting a footprint on the ceiling. Make sure your pelvis is neutral and keep going. Tap and lift. Go ahead and bend the knee, lower that foot down, other side. Bend the knee, lift up, make sure your hips are even. You point kick, you flex reach. It starts in line with the other knee when it reaches out. Then if you find you can handle going lower, you can go lower, but you gotta stabilize those hips. Point kick, flex two inches off the mat. Every time that leg goes down, you lift your hips up in opposition. Hold the leg up and just lower the hips and lift the hips back up. You may have one side stronger than the other. I sure do. This is my struggle side. Just keep going. Maybe do an extra one on that side. Bend the knee, put the foot down, lift the hips a little bit higher and then take it all the way down. Okay, so let's stretch that out. Go ahead and take a figure four stretch to stretch out that piriformis. You take one ankle over the other knee and you reach and grab and pull it in. I'm lifting my head to just make sure my hips are kind of even. I am really tight in this area. Okay, go ahead and switch your legs, stretch out the other side. Your head can be down or up. I am choosing to keep mine up so I can pay attention to my hips since they won't automatically square off here. Pull it in as much as you can. Get an extra big stretch. Breathe. 
And then lower down and go onto your side for side kicks. You'll be on the back side of your mat. You want your shoulder and hips and head and elbow in line. Your legs come to the front edge like a banana. If you need extra support, you can bend that bottom knee. Otherwise, go ahead and straighten it out. Flex those feet, look straight forward. You can lie on your arm if you need to, but ideally you're keeping your hand behind your head. Lift that underside of your body and lift your leg. Now lengthen out of that hip. Don't lengthen through the back of your knee. Swing it forward two kicks and then one kick back. Kick, kick forward and you go one inch behind you. Kick, kick forward, one inch back behind your butt. So when you pull back, draw that stomach in a little deeper and then let that leg kind of swing forward. Kick, kick and back. If you feel yourself pressing in the back of your knee too much, bend your knee and bring it forward twice and back once like you'd be putting a footprint on the wall behind you. Now bring that leg straight over the other leg or back to where it was, hip height, and do five circles in each direction. Go from hip height up and around, and then you can make it bigger and brush your heel and go up and around, five in each direction. Go up past hip height a little bit, make those bigger. Up and around, stabilize your pelvis. Draw the stomach in. Now you're gonna rotate in that hip socket. So you're not rotating that ankle. It moves because the leg is moving in the socket and your hip's not moving. Believe it or not, your leg does rotate right in that hip socket and you need to work on that mobility. So let's do it. Rotate up, rotate down. The more you practice, the better this will get. Now hold it parallel and let's little lift up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, lengthen a little, lift a little higher, do it again. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lift a little bit more, do it again. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Hold it, lengthen, bend the knee, put the knee on the floor in front of you, or if you have the flexibility, put the foot down, turn the toes out, reach behind your ankle, grab it, and press your knee out. The bottom leg lifts and lowers, lifts and lowers. And now you are working that inner thigh. Keep trying to press that knee out for that nice hip stretch because you just worked the outer hip there. Might as well stretch it while you work something else. Hold it up and rotate up and rotate down. Again, the leg rotates in that hip socket. You may feel yourself rolling to the back of that hip a little bit and to the front. You're trying to stay as stationary in the pelvis as possible, but there is a little bit more movement on that. Now pulse up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it and lower down. Roll onto your stomach. Make a pillow with your hands, bend your knees, heels together, toes apart, flex your feet. You're gonna stamp the ceiling, lift your knees off of the mat and put them back down. Try to draw the belly button in like there's an ice cube under it. And so you don't sink into that lower back like I just showed you there. Lift and lower, get into that crease right under your glutes. Now go ahead and make your feet into a prayer position and push your feet together and stamp that way. If something doesn't feel good, leave it out. Keep trying to press the whole foot together and stamp the ceiling that way. Now hold it up and reach the heels away from you and back in. Out an inch, in an inch, out an inch, in an inch. This is a bit more bar workout, but we're leading up towards the actual transition, which can be a little challenging. Lengthen your legs, roll onto the other side. You're on the back side of your mat, whatever position you took the first time you're taking again, you're in your banana shape, you're either bending the bottom knee or you're not. Try to look more in front of you. Lift the leg, let's go, kick, kick and bring it back. Try to keep your hips nice and still, and remember you're going one inch behind your butt and pulling your stomach in. 
You're not swinging it all the way back just to get into your lower back. You always have that option to bend the knee if you feel like when you're reaching back, you're just really pushing in the back of the knee. You really want these exercises to come from the right place. You're making that little crease under your butt cheek and you're drawing your stomach in. You're moving the thigh backwards, not just straightening that knee and sinking into the back more. Now go ahead and reach that leg straight and do your little circles. Five, four. This one you're staying at hip height or above. And reverse it. Five, four, three. Take your time. Two, there's no rush, let it burn. <laughs> Now brush your bottom foot. Five, four, three, two, one. Go the other direction. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Rotate up and rotate down from that hip socket. Notice how my hip is not rolling back to roll my knee up just like that and it's not rolling forward. I'm also not just turning my foot, my ankle. So you are really working from that hip socket and I have a three quarter or like a little bend in both knees so that I don't get into the back of my knees. What you'll find is you'll feel your hamstring more when you do that. Now little pulses up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift a little higher, do it again, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift a little higher, do it again. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it and bend the knee. Either put the knee down or put the foot down. The toes face out and you grab behind the ankle and your knee presses open. Lift the bottom leg and lower. Lift it and lower back down. Lift it up and lower. You're really trying to lift from that inner thigh. Now circle, up and around, up and around. One more and five in the other direction. Oh, I did eight, so do a few more. Now reverse it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, rotate and rotate. And it's okay if you tap the toe and tap the heel like a hot potato. Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up, and pulse up, up, up. Keep going, lift, 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 and hold, and lower it down. Go ahead and lie onto your back, moving on. I'm gonna use this roll again, and I'm gonna put it under my lower back to help keep my tailbone down for teasers. Cup your feet, lift your toes up, and pull your heel and glutes together. Reach your arms up, and roll it up. You're reaching from your back, and you're really tightening in the backs of the legs to keep pulling your pelvis forward as you roll backwards. Reach up, and take it all the way back down with control. I'm gonna adjust here for, for that roll to be in the right spot. Inhale, lift your head, exhale, tease gravity and lift up. No momentum, use your muscles. Option, extend one leg, connect the knees. Inhale, lift the head, exhale, roll it up. Reach forward and take it back down. Nice work. Inhale, lift your head, exhale, reach and roll back down. You take what cues you can handle and as you keep doing it, maybe you'll be able to take on a different cue the next time. Switch legs, inhale, lift the head, exhale, tease gravity and lift up. This side, I don't make it up as high, that's okay. And take it back down. Inhale, lift your head, exhale, tease her up. And all the way back down. Nice job, take that bolster out if you used it, lower down and do a roll up. Go ahead and take a stretch and try to pull your chest up your legs. And then when you're ready, setting up for a version of Can Can, you'll sit on one side of the mat. So if you're sitting to the left side of the mat, your right hand's gonna go back behind you and your left hand's gonna flip upside down onto your head. Knees are bent, draw that stomach in. And then go ahead and just transfer your knees over, rock to the side and come back. You are trying to keep both knees together so you'll see if you have any imbalances here and come back. 
In a perfect world, you're not hyperextending that right arm. And then this time when you go over, stay and lift your bottom hip up into a side plank and lower back down. Do it again, rock over, lift. Now draw the stomach in, lift the chest as you lower down and try to keep the knees together as you take it back. Go over, lift, lengthen your neck on both sides and bring it back. Excellent, let's go to the other side. So just shift your body over. This time I'm on the right side, left hand back, right hand flips upside down, rock over to the side and I come back. Try to draw the stomach in, make sure you're not leaving that right knee behind. So that knee that's on top when you go over has to really reach. And then lift into your side plank and bring it down. And again, take it over, lengthen both sides of your body lift and take it down. Nice job, do it again. Good, done. Moving on. Seal. Make a prayer with your hands, reach in between your legs and grab your ankles. Your heels are together, your toes are apart. You're rolling back and up and you're trying to beat your heels three times at the top and the bottom. Ideally, you're not pausing your roll to fit the beats in, you're just fitting them in your roll. If you want a challenge, go ahead and bring your feet in prayer position and walk those arms under you a little bit more and push the feet together, push your arms into your legs and your legs into your arm and just keep trying to lift the knees up higher. This is really challenging and balance. So keep lifting those ankles up, lift those knees, lift those ankles and try not to fall backwards. Good, flip over to your stomach. Lie down, forehead down, arms straight, flex your feet, and then lift your right arm and left leg up, and then add the other arm and leg. Swimming, inhaling for five and exhaling for five. This is like your hundred on your abdominals. Two breaths only. Pause, lengthen, 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 and lower it down. Push back into a rest pose, pull the stomach off the thighs to make it active decompress your spine and push your butt up and walk your hands back towards your feet. And then activate the backs of your legs and then roll up, keeping those legs nice and tight. Reach for the ceiling, pull the stomach in, and then you're gonna roll back down. It's like you're standing roll up. Hands touch, walk it out to a push up. Four, three, two, one one and you're there, lower your knees down and then lower down to your forearms. Press your hands down for a serratus push-up. You're gonna lower your chest towards the floor and bring your shoulder blades together in the back and then press back up. Try not to drop your head. Just lower the chest. Try not to shrug the shoulders or anything. Yours might be smaller than mine. You might have a better range of motion, but keep that head up. Lower and lift. Now push back up onto your arms. Stay strong and push up. Three, elbows are in. Try not to drop the head. Two, one more. Take your time. Lift your hips. Walk back, four, three, two, one. Hold here, push your hands down through your back and bend one knee and then the other. Run it out, get a nice stretch here. You worked really hard. Bend those knees, anchor your pelvis, and then roll up, scoop through the stomach and reach your arms up to the ceiling through your back. Press your arms out to the side, grow taller. Roll your shoulders up and back. You are done.